Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about my favourite products for keeping everything matte at the moment and also a couple of my favourite products on the market that have just kind of come into my fingers and also onto the shelves of the stores. Um, this, as you can see, is not my usual backdrop. I am travelling at the moment um, and I kind of was like, I can't do another post on travel essentials because that essentially is going to be my life for the next six to seven weeks. There's only so much mini moisturisers and mini shampoos that you guys can see. So I'm going to have to start thinking outside the box and bringing my kit with me. Um, at the moment I'm in Dublin um, and I'm staying at... Where am I staying? Oh, the Spencer Hotel. Um, I have already been in Paris this week. Yes, again, Paris again. Um, so I'm feeling slightly fatigued, but I have some excellent products with me, some great products to share with you today. And yeah, let's crack on. Oh, this jump up does actually say you, <laughs> nearly fell over then, um, you first. I bought it in Stockholm from Acne, but I guess like in this video, you can just see you. It's all about you. So first up, I had a bit of a crisis this week um, in terms of hair gels. I kind of have been going through Hair Wax's hair gels super quickly and I've moved on from having that kind of gloss look to having, I'm back, I suppose, with this kind of matte, beachy, finished quiff. Um, whether that's what my hairdresser, who is called Michael Rowan, who does Sarah Cox and Annie Mack, um, whether that is what he intends for me to have. I'm not really sure, because I'm kind of one of those rogue clients that as soon as I go out of the salon, I go home, shower, and then style it myself. As said before in previous videos, I am a hairdresser's worst nightmare, I think. Anyhow, I ran onto Oxford Street in kind of this like, oh, I need hair wax. Um, so I went and grabbed a couple, because um, I thought I could have a play from Boots. Um, I'm using L'Oreal Studio um, Matte and Messy. Matte and Messy. Matte and messy. Matte and messy. Um, I'm using this at the moment and the first time I used it I actually put too much on my hair and I kind of went out when my hair was a bit like rock hard and matte at the same time and it just felt really weird. I quite like to be able to play with my hair like this. Like I, I'm always touching it, I'm always messing about and you never know what will happen in the middle of the day where, you know, bedhead hair, kind of chic. It's a shine fibre paste, so it goes in nice and easy. Now, if you don't really know kind of the types of hair waxes that are out there, um, fibres are usually a very good indicator that it's going to be um, mouldable and it'll move around and you've got flexibility. So if that's what you like, always look for a fibre. Um, I tend to use about a 20p or a 10p piece size piece, 50p too much quite technical, um, into my hair, work it into my hair, and then maybe I'll apply a little bit more at the front of my hair to stop it kind of from flopping or finish with a hairspray. Um, I actually really like this product and I really like, it's so nice having gone from having glossy hair to then go to matte hair. I think this is a really good product to use for the daytime and then if you want you can use gels and creams in the evening. Okay, so next up, I'm now trialling a new moisturiser from Triumph and Disaster called Game Face. Now, I actually initially read the front of pack. Now, it says, it says, um, infused with old-fashioned goodness of nature, Game Face is built for today's performance needs, giving you the chance to knock it out of the park. I actually read knock one out in the park, and I was like, that is outrageous, and I had to double read it. This was during an interview with the CEO of Triumph and Disaster. I mean, cringe. That interview will be up on my blog soon. However, let's talk about this moisturiser. Um, the moisturiser definitely is extremely hydrating. It contains olive oil and jojoba. Um, so in terms of matte, not necessarily the best moisturiser to use. However, stay tuned. Following this is a mattifying product. Um, but the smell of this is lovely. And I really, really like this silver tube. Um, it means that you're not going to get that, um, you know, and sometimes in hard tubes where you have to squeeze it out or cut the top of the bottle to get the last bit of moisturiser in. This is like a toothpaste tube, so you can just out. Okay, so you've given your skin that huge drink from that Triumph and Disaster moisturiser. Um, however, you want it all nice and matte. And this, honestly, I think is rapidly becoming one of my favourite beauty have 
and must have essentials. Um, I was on a job with Strictly um, for Comic Relief um, and one of the makeup artists was putting this on one of the contestants and I was like, hello, what is that that you are using? So I had a little rummage for a kit and she was using this number seven Beautifully Matte Primer. Um, it is incredible. I put it on after my moisturiser and it blots any excess sebum and shine. So I'm quite an oily skin person so I always get this band, this T-zone band of shine throughout the day and it really, I don't know, it kind of gets on my wick a bit because I work in beauty and everyone's got beautiful skin and sometimes when I'm gleaming, like not even like a radiance gleam, we're talking like a full on whoosh gleam, um, it gets kind of frustrating. So this beautifully matte bad boy, um, I apply this after my moisturiser in the morning and then I take it with me um, to work and I just apply it on top of my tinted moisturiser halfway through the day and it literally just blots everything. Um, I actually can't sing this product's praises enough. It really delivers, it really keeps skin matte without drying it out. Um, and I also love the fact that it's a white bottle. So even though it is a product aimed predominantly at women, it looks pretty butch too. Oh, and while we're at it, it also contains cucumber for skin soothing properties and salicylic acid to help blemishes. Holla! And while we're talking about products that I absolutely adore, um, I want to share with you this Bliss Fabulous Makeup Melt Gel to Oil Cleanser. There we go. There's some funny outtakes where I cannot get that name right. Um, this product managed to work its way into my hands. Um, a while ago when the PRs and I had a little breakfast and it was like, ooh, nicey, nicey. We actually, oh, we actually had some quite dirty chat at that breakfast, which, you know, <laughs> I am partial to. Um, anyway, this project um, basically melts the makeup or tinted moisturiser or dirt on your skin at the end of the day and it goes on as a gel. You work it into your skin, it turns into an oil. Yeah, it goes from gel to oil and then you wash away any debris and you're left with gorgeous soft skin. I can't get enough of it. I cannot get enough of it. My skin is so soft. I've definitely um, seen a reduction in the amount of breakouts I'm having and my skin feels so clean when I'm using it. Plus, guys, it's blue, so it doesn't look pink and feminine like a lot of these products do. But girls, don't worry because it is a baby blue, so you're not looking too butch. Um, it smells lovely, it's a great tube, and honestly, this product really delivers. I couldn't be happier with it. So there you go, guys. Um, a little short and sweet video this week. However, I am travelling. I can't be lugging a whole supermarket of products around with me. Um, stay tuned next week because I'm giving you some of my favourite products that I'm using at the moment that um, give you that kind of at-home spa experience. Oh, I know, I'm good to you. Um, if you're liking these videos, thumbs up or have a little subscribe. My Instagram is at Jules Von Hepp, as is my Twitter. I also post sometimes different content onto my blog, which is JulesHeptonStore.com. Um, if you want me to review any products, please feel free to pop them in the comments below and I will review them. And I'm just speeding this up because I desperately want to do this on the bed. 